Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have not already, before we get started, make sure you go ahead and hit the red subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up because this video will be my favorite video. I was toying with the uh, idea of doing this and then I was like, well, I don't know if I have enough stuff to do my favorite video and I didn't want it to be like redundant from before, but I actually have like a whole basket full of stuff that I have never talked about on my channel before. If I have, I apologize, but I don't think I have. So if you like favorites videos, which I personally enjoy, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and make sure you turn on the bell notification so you're notified every time that I upload a video. And if you're not already, down below listed are my social media platforms. So make sure that you're following me on all of those to stay up to date and follow along with what's going on behind the scenes and all that jazz. So well, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the rings that I'm wearing because they're favorites, and if I don't talk about them now, I won't remember. So, this ring right here, I'm not sure if it's going to focus, but I really like it. I've been wearing it on my thumb some too, and when I saw this for the first time, I was like really obsessed with it, and I'm so mad at myself because I don't remember what brand it is. <sighs> if I remember, I'll like link it on the screen somewhere, but I just love this ring, and what's cool about it is... This little like hollow strip actually pops out and you can wear it plain or you can replace it with like something that's a different color to match what you're wearing. So I thought that was really cool and very innovative. So shout out to the company that made that. This is for sure a fave. It was a little more expensive, like it was on sale, but it was a little more expensive than what I normally pay, what I normally pay for rings. But just for the fact that it like has that colorful strip inside of it that you can replace with something else or wear by itself was really fun and different. So totally love this ring and then this ring is just a rose gold um aramish ring which is the same brand as my bracelet and i have to get the kid bracelet because i have really small wrist but this one's just rose gold and then i'm not sure if you can tell on camera but there's little like silver stones on the inside of it so you can wear it when you're wearing silver or when you're wearing rose gold and i love it because it goes really well on my pointer finger excuse my nails i just took them off from the wedding because they were getting janky but don't focus on that. <laughs> I just really love this ring and I love just how delicate it is because I don't know. It's just like simple but not simple because it has the stones and I love rose gold. So, got my rings out of the way. Alright, I'm going to start off with shoes and I can't believe I only have one pair. But, it's no secret if you're following me on Instagram how much I am loving and obsessing over snakeskin right now. So when I saw these boots, I died a little bit on the inside and I love them so much. They're just so like grungy, but versatile, if that makes sense. Like you can wear these with black jeans or you can even pair them with like a cute, like pair of denim shorts and go out your door, go out of the door on like a summer or spring day. So I really love them. And I don't know if you can tell, but they have like silver stones right here. And then these three buckles and I just feel like it adds so much more to it and then of course they zip up so I don't know I just really love these shoes I actually won a gift card or did I get these with my card anyways I just really love these shoes and I love how fun they are and they can really just make an outfit out they can really make an outfit a statement when you add this print to it especially if you're wearing like all black or something and it's perfect for like that pop of flair and pizzazz. So definitely a fave of mine. All right, next I'm going to talk about my new Sunnies that I absolutely love. They remind me so much of like John Lennon in like the 60s or something. I have a really small face and these are huge on my face, but I feel like they're not like obnoxiously huge. I don't know. I got them at Gaudy Me. Um, in Rockwall, which is a really cute boutique, and that's where I had gotten the pair of sunglasses I had before those, but they broke. What I was really sad about, though, was my Ray-Bans broke. As y'all know, my Ray-Bans were, like, the best sunglasses I'd ever had. I'd had them for years, and then the nose piece fell off, and I was just, like, I could not wear them anymore because they were, like, hurting my nose so bad. So, I picked these up, and they were super cheap. They were, like, 10 bucks or 8 bucks or something. The only thing I don't like about these sunglasses is they rub right here, but that's nothing a little bit of makeup can't fix. So really into these i think they are just so trendy and so fun all right i can't believe i only have one pair of workout pants like who am i because i literally live in athleisure even though i don't work out i'm working on it but these pants right here i love the color of these they're like mauve or mauve or whatever you want to call them i call them blush but i don't know if it's technically blush 
Now, the brand of these pants, I had a gift card, so I got these pants, like, basically for free. And the brand of them is Mono B, and these are obviously a size small. And they go pretty far down on your leg, but they're not, like, full length, if that makes sense. And then down here is my favorite part, because they have mesh. These are honestly probably my dream workout pant. Like, if these had a pocket, they would for sure be my dream workout pants. But I wear them so much. At first, when I saw them... Like, I loved them, but I was like, mm, I don't really know, like, what it'll match. I don't know how often I'll wear them, but I literally wear them at least once a week. Not gonna lie. I love them so much. I love the color of them, and they're just so fun for spring. I mean, they're pretty thick, though, but they're still fine, even on a hot day. I don't know. I get hot quick, so whatevs. But I really love them, and the color is my obsession. I love it. I used to not be a pink girl, but I'm getting more and more into pink. I don't know who I am. Okay, let's talk candles. So, this candle I actually won from Rachel, my sister-in-law's um, hair salon, because they did, like, a giveaway at Christmas time. So, that's why it looks like it's almost all the way burnt. And it smells so good. It's from the brand Volspa, V-O-L-U-S-P-A. Not sure if I'm saying that right. And it is the scent Gilt, Pomodaner, and Hinoki, H-I-N-O-K-I. -I. I'm probably butchering that, but it looks like this. And it smells so good. As y'all know, I'm not very good at describing scents, but it's such a simp, like it's such a subtle scent that it's like not overpowering by any means, which is awesome, especially like if you like candles, but like if you get a headache quick, this one won't bother you because it's so just subtle and awesome that you would probably like it. And it has, oh, here's the notes. Okay, it says coconut. Coconut wax blended with bougie perfume. I was like, what did I say? Coconut wax blended with bougie perfume. And it says it's um, gilded, which is holly berries. And then it has Japanese hinnaki in it, which I don't know what that is. I'm just going to assume it's a flower. Anyways, I think it's such a cute jar. It smells so good. I'm almost done with it, as you can tell. And... I just had to show it to love because it sits like in my bathroom and I light it from time to time. And I have to be careful though because if I don't remember it's on, I will totally like leave our apartment and that's horrible. So that's why I mostly try to keep candles burning in my room because I'm always in my room and very rarely do I go in the bathroom unless I'm like doing my makeup or something. So yeah, I just love this jar and it's so cute. So shout out to Heath Hair and Salon for this candle. It's awesome. Okay, this candle right here. Okay, so I got this at Walgreens and I got it at Christmas time and I try not to burn it too much just because this one, I don't want to say it's overpowering, but it's a triple wick, so it can kind of be. And this is in the scent um, Fresh Cotton. This smells so freaking good. Like, okay, this is how I'm going to explain how this smells like. I've been thinking about it for a while. So, you know, like, when you're done washing clothes and it smells good or after you get out of the shower and, like, the towel is, like, freshly clean and you're freshly clean and it just smells like cotton? <laughs> I know this is so, like, extra, but that's literally what this smells like. Like, it literally smells like you just did your laundry. It smells so good. Like, every time I smell it, I think of washing clothes. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's good or not because people hate laundry, but... I just love the way it smells. And you do not have to light every wick because with this scent, if you are in a small room, it probably would get overpowering just because it is a triple wick. So if you get this candle and you want to light it and you're in a really small room, maybe just light one or maybe two because I don't want you to like get a headache, but it smells so good. It's definitely more powering than this one. This one's more subtle, but I freaking love this candle. I actually leave this out in my room just like this over by my TV. You can't really smell it, but I just leave it open because I smell it when I'm having like a bad day. Does anyone else do that? Does anyone else have like a bad day and then like you just smell something and it just makes you feel better? Or am I weird? Comment down below. <laughs> okay, so enough with candles. Let's dive in to makeup. I don't have that much makeup. I know, who am I? only have three things but that's because I haven't really been getting that much makeup and honestly I don't wear makeup every day so okay I'm gonna start with this and OMG 
So this is the physician formula. First of all, hello, how cute is this packaging? I found this on accident at Walmart. It's limited edition. It was on like the end cap of one of the makeup bottles and I was like, oh my God, I need that. Basically, I'm obsessed with this whole entire palette. If you already know, if you don't know, you're probably sleeping under a rock, but the best bronzer ever from the drugstore is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It is amazing. It smells like coconut and it's, it's, it's such a pretty color and you can build it up to where it doesn't look like snooky. Like you don't look orange. You don't look crazy. Um, love it. So yes, this packaging, 10 out of 10. I love it so much. You open this up. The only thing I wish this had is a mirror right here, but it doesn't. It's talking about like the whole butter blend and why they named it that and stuff. And then right here was perfume, which is totally going to be my summer scent. It smells so good. It smells just like the bronzer, but in perfume form. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this comes with obviously the bronzer, and then it comes with this blush, which I wear from time to time. Not a huge blush fan. I only wear it if I remember, honestly. And then these highlights. Oh my gosh. I love highlight. You can see it right here on my face. It is blinding the house. Is that what the kids are saying? I guess that's like a rich looks phrase because I've never heard that. I even traveled with this and it like it's bulky but like it was in my makeup bag so it wasn't like a pain to and I have like a bigger makeup bag. If you have like a small makeup bag wouldn't recommend traveling with this but the only reason that I did is because it's literally highlight blush bronzer bam all in one. So you all know what the bronzer looks like. The blush is such a pretty color. I love it. It it just feels so, feels so good. I don't even know if you can see it. You can kind of see it. But it's more of like a, yeah, you can see it. It's more of like a peachy color. And then these highlights, that blush is in the shade Blush and Natural Glow. And then this highlight down here, I normally mix these two together just to make it go there. This one is called Full Moon, this white one. And then this one is called Galactic, which I love space. So I love that theme. These feel so good, guys, and literally one swipe, and it's, like, so pretty. It's honestly not even doing it justice on camera, which really bums me out because these are so pretty. Like I said, I'm wearing it right now, and I don't know. Literally the best highlight I've ever worn from the drugstore. Champagne Pop, probably my ride or die from, like, high end just because it's subtle, but you can build it up, too. These are not subtle. Like, if you don't like a blinding highlight, these are not for you. These are not for the faint of heart. But if you can get your hands on this, I would recommend this. It was only 10 bucks, and that's great because you get a perfume, a blush, a bronzer, and two highlights. So, that's awesome. They also had another one that I wanted to try. Like, another little kit thing. So, I need to go back and get that. Okay. Let's talk glitter. Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter are my absolute favorite. As y'all know, I loved my rose gold retro one, but it dried out because I didn't use it fast enough. I'm trying to use this one a little better. This one is called... Hold on. Molten Midnight. Look at this. Is this not, like, the prettiest you've ever seen? Like, it's so pretty. I don't know if I like it as much as Molten Midnight though. I mean, I don't know if I like it as much as Rose Gold Retro just because with this, I feel like you, you can wear this in the daytime, but I feel like it's prettier at night just because it's so much more darker. And if you don't want like a dark smoky eye every single day, which you're probably not going to wear this every day anyway, you might not like this, but if you do get this one, just wear it at night. Or you can pop it like on your inner corner or even on the lower lash line or on the top lash line if you don't want to wear just matte eyeliner. It's so pretty. I love it, but I just don't know if I love it as much as Rose Gold Retro. But it's definitely a fave and I reach for it a lot. I'm trying to use it up because my other one dried out and that makes me sad because these are like 20 bucks. But they really do. You really only need like one dip. That's all you need. It will cover both eyes and then just blend it and bam, it's so easy. Okay, if you know me, you know I love bold lips. I love a long lasting good lipstick because I hate retouching. It just, it, it gets on my nerves. So this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. Now, side note, I have dry lips and this does not dry out my lips really, if I'm just keeping it 100. Um, this is in the shade, oh no, oh there it is. Metador, I think is what it's called. 
and this guys is so pretty i'm not gonna swatch this because i don't have a makeup wipe and this will literally stay on my hand forever that's how long lasting it is like this will not come off your lips unless you wipe it off or if you want like a little hack if you put gloss over this and you wipe your mouth it's gonna come off so if you're like ready for it to come off but you're not home to like have your micellar water or whatever just put on some lip gloss and then wipe it and it'll come off this is so pretty it's super affordable stays on forever as i mentioned like 12 times and they have like a million and one shades and they also have these in like um glosses too so if you don't like matte lips they do have them in gloss but of course gloss is not going to stay on as long but i really love this shade i've been wearing it <laughs> so much that it's ridiculous i love it so much all right moving on to hair care i have a lot of hair stuff this video is gonna be long i apologize okay actually i lied we're not gonna talk hair yet we're gonna talk about other random stuff okay so this lotion my mom was gifted this and then she gave it to me because i ran out of my other lotion and this is like the perfect spring summer scent it's from bath and body works and it's called tahiti island dream and it's not just lotion, but it has shea and vitamin E in it, which is bomb. It smells so good. I'm not about to explain it. I'm not good with that. Oh, here's the notes. Fresh coconut water, sparkling mandarin, kiwi blossom, lush frangipani. Don't know what that is. And then it has tahi Tahitian vanilla musk. So it has a little bit of everything. And it has vitamin B5. Like, it's so moisturizing. I put this all over my hands, all over my legs. Everything. Like, it's so... It's so good. If you're at a Bath and Body Works, try this one, especially for this time of year. Love it so much. You're going to notice the coconut theme a lot in this video. Okay, so this body spray right here is by Snooki. And I got, now this does not stay on your skin very long. Like, it's not one of those that you're going to smell throughout the day. You literally just smell it when you first keep it on. So don't think when you get this that you're going to, like, smell it forever throughout the day because you're not going to. I need to find a better cologne. If you have one down below, leave it. Um, that doesn't cost like a lot, but I know you get what you pay for. So I picked this up at Walgreens around Christmas time because I was completely out of my other one and I have to have body spray. So this one is the Snooki by Nicole Paluzzi. I guess that's just what it's called. It doesn't have notes or anything, but it smells good. It's a little, I don't want to say musky, but I feel like it kind of is musky in a way. Like it smells girly with like a splash of musk if that makes any sense but it's also really cute packaging so been liking that one a lot okay as you can tell this is definitely a fave this is the mario badescu facial spray with aloe chamomile and lavender i went through a whole like rose one love it this one's lavender so it's super calming i sprayed this on right before i did my makeup and then i sprayed on right when i wake up every morning or I use the Tatcha Dewy Luminous, Luminous Skin Mist or whatever if I'm feeling a little more bougie. Um, but I've just been trying to finish this one. And then when I was at Ulta, I picked up the like um, rose one and like the little one. I didn't even know they made one smaller than this. But yeah, this one's awesome too because it's gluten free and cruelty free. I'm sorry, not gluten free. Paraben free and cruelty free. So, you can just throw this in your purse if you have a big enough purse. And if you're not feeling, like, refreshed during the day, just spray it. And it's it's just so good. I love it. I love the way it smells. Okay, so this is really random for me to talk about. But this soap is awesome. And I know you're like, how is it awesome? You haven't even used it. I just started using this. I actually got this from Rachel's mom for Christmas. And I ran out of my other soap. So, I'm using this one now. And it smells so good. It has coconut oil in it. And it's from Bath & Body Works. And the scent is Black Cherry Merlot. It's like a foaming soap. And it smells so good. Like the cherry in it. <laughs> I was going to say something really lame. But it's the cherry on top. But it literally is. Like it smells delicious. And I really love the foaming soap. Just because I feel like it's just that little touch that you need to get your hands even that much more cleaner. Alright. Hair care. And then we're done. I know this video is long, guys. I'm really sorry. But I haven't done a video in forever. And I haven't done a favorites video in a long time either. So, sorry, not sorry. Okay. Dry shampoo. I've talked about the following products I'm about to talk about on my Insta story or Snapchat. But, I'm going to go ahead and talk about them again. So, this is the Batiste Volumizing Dry Shampoo with Collagen. It removes oil and gives your hair volume. Who doesn't love that? And it's super affordable because it's Batiste. I'm probably like three-fourths left. 
So I need to get a new one soon. They have like different flavors and stuff or scents. This one smells so, it smells so good. And like, yes, I know that um, dry shampoo is meant to give you volume, but like this one gives you like super volume. If that makes sense. Like it makes your hair even more voluminous, which I love. Like who doesn't love that? I haven't used it today because I just washed my hair um, last night. So I haven't used it today. I don't need to use it else I would demonstrate. But I don't know. I really like it. It's affordable and it has collagen in it, which is also good for not only your hair, but your skin. So try this one out. Let me know. And I'm not sure if they make this one with the brown tint, but if they do, I'm going to go get it because obviously I have dark hair, so you can like really see it. But I just judge it and go. Okay, let's talk body wash. I don't know why I'm saying let's talk before everything. Sorry, guys. Okay, so <laughs> this is the Ocean Breeze body wash. So I ran out of my other body wash and I went to Walmart and I couldn't find the one that I had. I couldn't remember what it was called. So I got this one. It's suave and it is awesome. It smells like the beach. As y'all can tell, I have a coconut theme going on, which is very weird because I hate the taste of coconut, but I love the smell. Mm, it smells so, so, so good. And it's turquoise, which as y'all know, is my signature color. And um, it says it's as beautiful as Bath & Body Works. That's really funny. I just noticed that. There's not much to say about this. I literally just started using it, but I love the scent. And it just really moisturizes and hydrates your skin, which is what we all need now that it's getting warmer outside. Okay, last two products are my shampoo and conditioner, both from Herbal Essence, not sponsored. But I try to, like, keep the same brand. I don't like to have one brand of shampoo and one brand of conditioner or vice versa. So, I got this kind because I have a dry scalp, but I have oily hair, if that makes sense. It's really gross to, like, have dandruff. It's, ugh, it's, it's the worst. So this one is the deep moisturizing one and it has no parabens and no gluten and no mineral oil in it. It has coconuts and it smells like coconuts and it's freaking turquoise. Like it's so awesome. Mmm, this is all so good. And I really like these. Again, I just started using these because I was out of my shampoo. I was out of like everything guys, it was crazy. And, um, yeah, I just got these, but I love the scent. I love the color. And I really do feel like that they do give my hair that little bit of moisture that I need. So, <laughs> as y'all can tell, coconut and blue is my jam. I love it so much. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because it's a really long video and I don't want to ramble anymore. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. Leave video ideas down below or slide into my DMs and let me know what you guys want to see because I'm open to anything. I might have some makeup tutorials coming, so be on the lookout for that. Love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.